A very big, strong man once lived in Nephilil, in the village of Utwa. He lived there with his wife. His name was Lapanmet. He was a good banana grower and also a powerful magician. Back in those days, the king of Koshrai made periodic visits to other villages around Koshrai. The king lived in Layla. One day, during one of his visits, the king arrived in Nephilil. When the king, king reached Lapanmet's residence, he found bananas hanging all around his home. Lapanmet was not home at this time, but his wife was there tending house. The king's people gathered up all of the bananas and took them to Layla. Lapanmet came home shortly after they left and was told about the incident by his wife. After hearing the news, he was so furious that he went to a nearby area called Matanpak. At Matanpak, he scooped up a handful of sand and took it with him to Matanlik. As he reached Matanlik, he threw the sand upon the water. The sand floated on top of the water. Lapanmet made a sand bridge from Matanlik to Layla at a section called Fukul. When he got to Fukul, he made himself invisible. That made it easy for him to enter the king's palace. He gathered up all the bananas that had been taken from his home. He was about to step back on his floating bridge when he became visible again. The king's people in Layla saw him and started to pursue him across his floating bridge. They were unsuccessful, for they could not catch him. Those who were on the bridge drowned. The rest of the people got in their canoes and started after him. When Lapanmet got to Matunlik, he saw a lot of people coming after him. He started running. When he got to Layot, his pursuers were closing in. He moved quickly and jumped into a thick bunch of reeds along the roadside at Puck. Lapanmet hid himself until his pursuers had gone past him. Lapanmet then walked a short distance behind his pursuers, all the way to Matanfanak. The pursuers went all the way to Utwa and closely guarded the Finkal River and Taff Beach. Lapanmet took a big branch from a falafel mangrove tree at Matanfanek. Falafel is Sanaradia alba. He hid himself within the falafel as it floated on the water. The current took the branch with Lapanmet down to Finpukshasha, past the mouth of the Finkal River and Taff Beach. When Lapanmet reached the shore, he stood up from the branch and took the bananas home. The falafel branch, he left that at Fimpakshasha. It took root and grew. The branch grew up and formed a forest of mangrove trees. Today, these mangrove trees can still be seen there. It is a fitting legend that a man of great size and strength would be associated with a large tree that stands above the rest and supports other life forms and has the strength to stand on the reef to stand up against the waves of the ocean.